Hey guys, Louie here. Uh, I was uh, just looking through my emails this morning and I had a message from Vulture Peak Mines. Uh, if you haven't checked out their products before, they do have a nice line of products. Um, and the message I got was that all four troy ounce Vulture Peak Mines silver rounds are $78. So let's uh, check out what 78 divided by 4 is. Uh, 1950 so uh, kind of pricey but they uh, they do have some nice products so I thought I would look at these really quickly and then take a look at their section called um, abandoned mines huh okay so let's uh, let's see what uh, products they have on sale uh, one second all right so here is their uh, their what do they call it is it a Rolo they call it a round uh, this one's pretty very pretty, nice high shine on that. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, free shipping on orders over $99, as you would want. Here is a four ounce vertical bar, also at $19.50. And I have purchased from them before, and uh, sometimes they get some really good pour lines as well in some of their products. Uh, they may be on eBay as well, don't recall. And here is a four ounce square. Makes it look small, but four ounces is a, a very chunky bar. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's the big one. Cool. Let's see what else we have here at the $78 mark. Oh yeah, this is like one of the ones I got, I believe this is, oh, let's look at them all. Okay, so here are the, oh, here's a 1.2 ounce, 1.92 ounce. Uh, looks like this is on sale as well. Let's see if I can get this to, very pretty. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, look at this bar here. That's pretty gnarly. I like that one. 5.76 ounce. Character abounds, it says. I don't know if that's the exact bar you would get, but he's calling it gnarly, right? It's a gnarly pour, a fast pour. You know when you pour when you pour something like that, you know why that happens? Something is going wrong, right? The uh, the crucible is too hot. Your your gloves are ripping. Uh, you have to itch your nose, but as you pour it, you just you dump you dump it, right? And you don't usually do something like that on purpose. And let's see what else they have. Uh, here's another one's pretty gnarly. Uh, Ninety-five, seventy-five, for about five ounces. So they're they're keeping it between nineteen and twenty dollars. Uh, free shipping over a hundred dollars. Uh, so there is their range of bars, or at least the ones on sale. And then I wanted to take a look. Oh wait, here's cast iron mold bars. Let's see what they got happening with cast iron molds. Uh, ooh, big ones too. Here's a 20 ounce, 20 ounce cast iron pour. The cast iron molds are uh, actually quite expensive. And uh, personally, I collect the vintage cast iron molds or muffin pans. But um, you get this uh, ripply side and uh, beautiful distinct top on those. But uh, those molds can be quite expensive. On the flip side, they do last forever. So you'll never you'll never wear out a cast iron mold unless you break it uh, extracting the uh, the silver from the mold. There's another nice one, very very nice. Reminds me of uh, bunker bullion a little bit. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find out this article about mines. Uh, this look uh, this is what I thought I would share with you, and let's see what. Uh, these images here to uh, get you going on a Thursday back from uh, back from a beautiful holiday abandoned silver mines whoa look at that uh, I don't see I don't see any headers or footers so uh, you'll have to bear with me uh, but uh, look at that wow that's cool oh here's another one is that in Alaska or Washington oh no uh, Valdez Valdez. Is Valdez New Mexico? Wow, that looks like a place where a lot of people probably died. <laughs> My gosh, can you imagine the work involved? 
Oh, look at this one. Bunkhouse at the old Vulture Peak Mine in Arizona. So Vulture Peak uh, Mines has a long history. We'll have to check that out someday. Wow, very cool. Silverton, Colorado. Boy, must have been a small mine, huh? Wow, looks like they picked this hillside clean. That does not look pretty. You know, uh, mining is uh, somewhat devastating to the environment. And uh, I am an environmentalist, and I do have to reconcile that sometimes in my mind. Um, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not that good for the planet to be uh, spraying chemicals and waters and, and water and uh, so forth into the environment. Wow, look at that! What's this called? Narrow tracks and a hand-pushed ore cart. How'd you like to be the guy that pushed uh, pushed that cart? Reminds me of that song by John Henry. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Creed, Colorado. I would love to go see that. But again, looks pretty dangerous, doesn't it? Uh, is that all of them? Okay, that's all of it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick segment of Vulture Peak Mines. If you, do, uh, if you did enjoy this uh, and you want to buy some of their products, uh, vulturepeakmines.com, um, just, like uh, just like it sounds. All right, guys, have a wonderful Thursday. Louis signing out.